Peace and blessings and love and light and thanks for tuning in with God. It's high day and I want to talk about cannabis. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of people smoke, vape, or do, do edible. Right? And people do it to get high. Some people do it because they have pain. People are using cannabis for a whole lot of reasons. So I'm here to share my experience with cannabis. Okay, I have arthroarthritis, which is arthritis in the hip, stage two. I have anterolithesis, which is arthritis in the spine, but it became anterolithesis when my top vertebrae, top vertebrae slipped over my bottom vertebrae, so it's no longer aligned due to the wear, you know, the wear and tear, okay. Then I have narcolepsy, which is a sleep disorder. Uh, with narcolepsy, come excessive daytime sleepiness, results from fragmented sleep. I have insomnia, I have something called hypersomnia, which means excessive daytime sleepiness. So, and I have restless leg syndrome. So I have all these conditions. I'm on medication for the restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome, I developed after taking the Rontan for insomnia back in early 2000. Right after I started taking under Neurontin, I had developed a creepy crawling feeling in my feet when my feet are at rest. And I could get up, get up and walk around and the feeling would go away. So that's why I take medicine for that. Now I'm not currently on medication for um, sleep disorder. I was on something called weight kicks. They said it takes about eight weeks for it to start working. I got into my eight week and I couldn't get the medicine because my job has switched health insurance and they, they didn't want to give it. They denied me, so my doctor is appealing. Um, so, with all those conditions plus anxiety and panic disorder, I had depressed, um, depressive episode back in early 2000s. So, I do have depressive moods sometimes. So, anyway, with all those conditions, I'm not on medication except for one. So my partner was like, maybe you should try getting the marijuana card because smoking for him, because he has some conditions, it helps. And a lot of people, other people smoke. Some people smoke to get high. Some people smoke because they are, they going through things and that seems to be something that helps. So I decided to apply and I was eligible for it because of all the conditions. And I really paid attention yesterday because I got the card back in like March, I think. And I've been using it, and it, it has been helping with sleep. Um, it helps me fall asleep. Um, it may help me stay asleep for four hours, because I normally wake up like every two hours throughout the night, and my sleep is fragmented. I do not know what it feels like to go to bed at nine and sleep through the whole night and wake up feeling refreshed. I don't know what that feeling is anymore, and I haven't felt that way in over 17 years. When I wake up, I ask myself, did I even fucking go to sleep? Because I'm still fucking sleepy. I'll wake up. Like I never went to sleep. So my sleep is not refreshed. So I do use the capsules. Like if I suffer from insomnia, if I get in the bed and don't fall asleep within two hours, I will take a, a, a cannabis tablet. And it'll help me sleep for at least four hours instead of two. That's number one. It helps me fall asleep because it really relaxes me. When I take it during the day and I'm in pain, <laughs> it got me stuck. I don't be feeling no pain. I have a lot of energy, but I'm slow moving. <laughs> like, okay, for example, like yesterday, I I had developed a headache at work. I became nauseous. I was irritable because I had a sleep attack at work, a narcolepsy attack at work. Late in the day, which I normally don't get them at, I normally get them at four, but I got it earlier. So I was just not feeling well. So my partner came and picked me up, brought me to his house. Told me later, I was like, oh, he was like, look, you, you miserable. Yeah, I'm like, I feel really uncomfortable. And so he just kept asking me what I want to eat. I was like, I don't know what I want to eat right now. So he said, you need to smoke. And I said, well, you know what, you know what? Okay, I had no energy. Remember, I laid on that, that, that food time right over there. I was uncomfortable. I was in nauseous. I was in pain. I went and smoked and everything changed. I got this energy. Okay, I got up, started hitting on him, playing with him. I got up, uh, he said, you gonna cook now? I was like, yeah, I'm cooking now, I'm hungry. Now that shit does give you a munchie. So now I got all this energy. So I'm glad that I went and got the car because to walk around 
irritable or off and all day, to walk around and have to deal with excessive daytime sleepiness, to walk around with all this pain in my hips and back, especially when the weather, when the weather's act up, I'm in pain. Now I'm sitting right now and I know when I get up, I'm gonna feel some pain. When I get up in the morning, that's the worst because if you're in bed for eight hours, you're not as active. So that's why I have to also stay active because if I, when I'm inactive, Okay, I'm sitting here, this is, I'm talking. So if I was to just be sitting here and not doing nothing, I'd probably be falling asleep. Now, also, I'm sitting here and I've been sitting in this chair for about a good 20 minutes. When I go to get up, I'm going to be in pain. So that's why I chose to go get me my card so I can have an opportunity to get cannabis so I can have, <laughs> enjoy my days. Because to be in pain and to be sleepy, can you imagine going somewhere at five o'clock in the e early evening and you somewhere and you having a great time and then all of a sudden you go. <gasps> and when that, oh God, this is crazy. And when that feeling come on, I start crying. I get emotional. I get irritable. Anxiety might kick in. And the only thing I want to do is go lay down and go to sleep. So can you imagine being somewhere like at work and this happen, you can't go to sleep. So I got to sit there, pace back and forth. Just don't want to cover cover me if I can, so I can go somewhere and get my five minutes. And usually these, sleep attacks, these sleep attacks like that, when that sleep attack come on, is really strong. It's different from regular being sleepy. Like it, it feels like I took a bunch of sedatives. That's how strong those sleep attacks be. So then you want to go to sleep, but you can't go to sleep. So can you imagine like going through your day, trying to enjoy life and that happens? Or going through your day and you in severe pain. Where Tylenol don't work, um, ibuprofen don't work, Excedrin don't work. None of those pain relievers work for arthritis. Not my arthritis, maybe other people's arthritis. Then you cannot take Tylenol too much because it affect the liver. Can't take motion too much because it affect the blood. But I can smoke my cannabis and the only thing it does to me is make me relax, put me to sleep and give me the goddamn munchies. That's the only side effects I get. But I can't take ibuprofen too much because that shit gonna burn my stomach. I can't take naproxen, which is a good pain reliever. That's gonna burn my stomach. So yes. I'm into the cannabis. I'm no doctor, but I'm telling you it helped release some of my symptoms. I don't know. God is idea.